As you begin your serial box project, you're going to go to File and New. You're going to take a look at your sketch. And make sure that your sketch has everything that you need. The size is going to be 7.6 inches for the width, 11.9 for the height, a resolution of 300 RGB and white. Click Create. First step is you want to be able to see your layers panel. So make sure you go to Window, Layers, so you can see your layers panel. I'm going to pull it out right here. At the bottom of your layers panel, you'll see the little create new filler adjustment layer button looks like a black and white cookie. I want you to click that. If you want a solid color, click, choose your color, and it will simply fill it. I'm going to get rid of that for a moment just to show you the next step. Let's say you wanted to have a gradient. Click, choose gradient. When gradient pops up, you can click on this little button right here, little box. <clears throat> then you can choose your gradient. Or you can adjust and make your own gradient. You can slide these little stops back and forth. If you pull them down, they disappear. If you click on the line, you can add as many of them as you'd like. And if you double click, you can change that color to whatever you'd like. Once you have decided on your gradient, like for example here I have blue to yellow to orange, in this box, the gradient fill box still is up. I can choose linear or radial or angled or diamond, for example. And in here, I can actually take the move tool and I can move it. I can also change this scale and I could also reverse it. So there's lots of options of things that you can do on this. I'm going to hit OK. So there's my gradient. On top of the gradient, you can take your text tool, you can click, and you can apply any of the words and type in any of the words that you need. So for example, if this cereal was toasted rice clusters or something, let's just say for the description. I could select it, make it smaller, um, move it around with the move tool change the font, put it wherever I would like, and that would be fine. That's a terrible color. Let's just change that color real quick to a black so you can see it a little better. Okay, now once you've done that, when you're ready to do the name of the serial, you're going to take the text tool, you're going to click. So for example, I'm going to do a checks serial. I'm going to highlight it, change its font. Once I change the font, I'm going to increase the size. And I'm going to change the color of it, so something you guys can see, maybe a blue. And then what I want you to do is on that layer, you're going to go up to the top, go to the word 3D, go down to new 3D extrusion from selected layer, and it's going to bring you into a 3D mode. Once you're in this 3D mode at the top of your screen here, you see the orbit tool. You can click and rotate in any direction that you'd like. The rest of the tools here allow you to rotate, drag the 3D project, slide the 3D project. There's also these little, you see this uh, green and red and blue. You can, you can pull, rotate, move up or down this little bar you can actually squish them or stretch them and then there are two um, little floating panels one that says 3d one that says properties and on those there's different sliders like extrusion depth to make it go back further or this one right here where you can click and you can try tapering where it goes back there's lots of options here so try each one out see what they do click on each one and really just uh kind of kind of kind of go at it and see what you come up with <clears throat> now once you're done there, you can go back to the layer that you just created on the layers panel right here. Right click, rasterize 3D, and now this piece you can take and you can move anywhere you want. You can still do command T, you can still resize, you can still rotate. And if you go to the layer on the right side of the layer right here, you can double click and you can choose things like stroke or drop shadow or bevel and emboss. And there's lots of little options here that you can sort of play with until you so get until, until you get the look that you like. So you get the look that you like. Uh, obviously, I messed up a little bit there. I'm going to take off the bevel and emboss. So you could do Command T, and you could put these wherever you'd like. The only other piece that's new for this is that you are going to go to the rectangle tool on the left-hand side here on the toolbar, and these will allow you to use the shape tool up top here, choose the shape that you want. There's even custom shapes here at the bottom, and you can choose the one that you'd like, click and drag, and then use that wherever you'd like within your work. So if you want to take that new piece and pull it under, you want to move it, Command T, resize it, rotate it, place it wherever you'd like so that you can put your words on top, that will be fine. Things like the serial, you can find any kind of serial. You can find it online or I even put a, uh, an example inside your folder. So if you go inside the folder for the class, you'll see something that says images of cereal. And then in there, there's bowls of cereal, people uh, eating cereal, all kinds of pictures. And you can drag those, drop them in. And then once they're in there, <clears throat> bring them to the top. Take one of your selection tools. Make a selection out of it.
can copy it, right click and copy onto its own layer, and then remove the other piece. So all these are independent pieces which you could then move around and decide where things go. Uh, don't forget for Command T for a lot of them. Don't forget you can double click any of them and add things like strokes or shadows or drop shadows or outer glows or any of these options are, are here for you to use so don't forget to try and use them from time to time. They can in increase the uh, professional look of your of your work. Uh, and just make sure all the information that's on a cereal box is on there.